This is absolutely crazy to me, but I was having a conversation with another coach and she specializes in helping coaches get clear on their message. So, you know, branding, marketing, who do I speak to? This has come up so many times for me with different people that I've spoken with or coaches that I've hired to help me grow my business and to understand who I want to speak to. Gay men, it's always been the question, why don't I work with gay men? And for some reason I thought I, I shouldn't box myself in. <laughs> the fucking irony of that, because I've been really playing with the metaphor of how we box ourselves in. We're either living in a box that's so goddamn dark that we can't see the possibility of not only who we are, but who we can and who we want to be who we really need to be, or are we way, are we living in a box that's transparent and we just need to push the lid off? Because no matter what kind of box we're breaking down, we're probably boxed in somewhere else in our life. We may box ourselves into a particular category when we're at the office. We may box ourselves into a particular way of behaving when we're with one friend versus a different friend, or even more so with family. How do you own who you are. <laughs> it's not like I hide being gay. This is what I've been struggling with in the last number of years. So maybe close to 15 years ago, when I first started in personal training, I, I was doing some writing for GayGuyToronto.com and I thought I could be the gay voice of fitness. And then I was writing about personal development. It didn't work out like I had planned. That's because I was so new in both industries, both as a very young personal trainer, young in the industry, and just discovering personal development, which had really, really changed my life. I used to be so angry all the time. And I had this flip where I realized I have to take complete you know, control and accept every choice that I make. And that's the only way I'm gonna become a happier person. And I did. Now, transitioning into coaching work, who is my market? Who do I want to most work? Well, who am I? And who can I best serve? Who can I best help through the experiences I've had, through the life that I've lived, through the lessons that I've learned? Well, other gay men of my generation, and I've struggled with the LGBTQ thing because, well, it, it's, that's a container, that's a box. But I'm a gay man. And so I came out at a time and was really forming sort of my political and social identity when I was in Ottawa studying at Carleton University. And it was gays and lesbians. And then we added gays, lesbians, and bisexuals. And back then, back in the day, I'm an old gay now, it was, oh, bisexuals, they just can't make up their mind and they're playing both sides of the field because they're whores. <laughs> Uh, I don't profess to understand all of the different labels because that's not who I am. That's not the box I find myself in. What I can say is I'm coming out of my own box that has blocked me, that has kept me in a container of not declaring that I want to serve, work with other gay men, men in sort of my generation, 10 years before, 10 years after, who struggle with, who are challenged by the same thing, who aren't living up to who they can be, who aren't owning all they can be and breaking down the box, the container that is keeping them either in the closet or because we've grown up in the closet for 40, 50, 60 years, we have this resistance because there's been years, 20 or 30 years of growing up into young adulthood where maybe you were in the closet and the closet is a powerful container and it's a very hard thing to break apart. I can not only just speak to that, but I can listen with the empathetic ear of my own experience of the things that I've gone through to help you, to help you become who you really want to be, to take the ownership taking the opportunity to say, this is who I am. This is who I'm going to be. I'm going to no longer hide. I'm not going to hide a part of myself that I want to explore. And it isn't just being gay or having sex or dating. When I say authentic, that's living all the parts of who you really are. So what part of your life are you boxing in 
maybe to protect other people from knowing you or to protect yourself, sometimes purely for a safety perspective, or maybe you think that you won't get ahead in your career if you're not out. It's not that you have to walk around wearing a rainbow flag. How much happier, how much freer would you feel if you lived who you were without any walls, without any box around your identity? How much lighter would you feel if you didn't have to worry about boxing any part of yourself in?